Hello and welcome to the Study Travel News video. I'm Matthew Knott. And I'm Nicola Hancock, bringing you the latest news stories. Uh, so the headlines this week, British study centres acquire as Cactus Worldwide. LCI Education partners with Brazilian agency STB. New board and president for Felca. And much more, of course, but school groups and agency deals are very much the theme of this week. Yes, indeed. Um, first up, UK headquartered international education provider British Study Centres, or BSC, has announced the acquisition of Cactus Worldwide, a UK-based study abroad agency and foreign language training company. Nick Alexandru, chief executive of BSC, said the acquisition supported the company's strategy to build a global learning experience group by adding foreign language tuition products to the existing portfolio of English language programmes, sports, university pathways, teacher training and transnational education courses. Faye Drury, Managing Director of Cactus, said the expertise, positioning and financial strength of BSC offered Cactus a fitting platform to accelerate its growth strategy. The deal represents the latest acquisition of an established agency brand by an ELT group, following the recent announcement of Kaplan International Languages purchasing European agency chain ESL. That's right. Um, and next, uh, Canada headquartered private higher education group LCI Education has announced a strategic partnership with major Brazilian agency STB or Student Travel Bureau, which has 60 sales points in Brazil and an overseas branch in Australia. The financial details of the deal have not been disclosed, but it was said the two companies would continue to operate independently under separate corporate brands while leveraging a variety of growth synergies. And the existing management teams will remain in place. Uh, Claude Marchant, chief exec of LCI, said STB's dominant position in the Brazilian market would accelerate growth. Um, Jose Carlos Hoya Santos Jr., STB president, praised LCI's global network of 23 schools and said Australia and Canada were especially valuable markets for STB. The Federation of Education and Language Consultant Associations, or FELCA, has elected a new board and chosen Paolo Barilari as its new president for the next four-year term. Mara Liao, who steps down as president, and Erin Gocker will act as vice presidents. Uh, Paolo said his priorities for the term would include enhanced communication with FELCA member agencies and regional cooperation to encourage more national associations to join. Regional secretaries for Asia, Europe and Latin America have also been appointed. Congratulations to them. And now for a roundup of some of the other stories we've had this week. Almost all OECD countries have increased the ratio of international students in higher education enrolments over the last seven years, according to the organisation's latest Education at a Glance report, which shows there were 5.3 million mobile students in 2017. The USA had 22% share of all overseas students within the OECD, but Australia had the highest proportion of international students of the major destinations, accounting for 21% of all higher education students. And that's right, although little Luxembourg, ha Luxembourg had an astonishing 47% ratio. Wow. <laughs> uh, moving on, Australia's Department of Education and Training has announced that 11 student markets have recorded double-digit enrolment increases in the first half of this year, including India, Nepal, Colombia and Vietnam. Vietnam. The International Association of Language Centres, or EALC, has welcomed seven new member centres in recent months, as well as two new associate schools and one new seasonal centre member. Uh, Turkish Agency Academics has announced an expansion into Azerbaijan and Iran. The agency, which won the ST Star, Award, uh, Star Agent Eastern Europe Award recently, hopes to send to traditional partners as well as to Turkish universities. The Occupational English Test, the specialist specialist exam for healthcare professionals has welcomed a UK Home Office announcement that professionals that have used OET results to register with healthcare regulators will no longer need to sit a separate language exam to obtain a Tier 2 visa. Anglo Continental in Bournemouth, meanwhile, has been announced as the UK's latest OET test centre. Uh, the Boarding Schools Association, or BSA, and the British Association of Independent Schools with International Students, or BISIS, have announced a new partnership to promote the needs of international students in the UK. IHM Football Academy, a specialist UK provider, has announced a partnership with the International Professional Scout Organisation, or IPSO, to provide feedback on the potential of its young international players. Um, and finally, Avondale College of Higher Education has become Australia's first ever university college following approval of industry regulator TEXA. Congratulations to them. 
More on all of those stories online, as well as lots of photos from fam trips, including Liverpool School of English and Anglo Continental hosting agents at the Bournemouth Air Festival yeah. and a Colleges and Institutes Canada mission to Colombia. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Goodbye.